Hello, um, this is Sydney. Um, this is the carrying mechanism for Babbage's difference engine. Um, I'm going to give you guys uh, just a verbal explanation. I was going to write this down, but um, there's actually, it's um, so much clearer if you just um, kind of show how it works. So um, this might get a little confusing and I might get a little rambly, just so you know. Um, but uh, basically, here's the. This is one section with three decimal places. Um, the difference engine, I think, had twenty decimal places that it could uh, do the carry on. But I'll just show you with three. Um, so if you look at this sort of widgety thing here, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add two two four uh, to two seventy six. Sorry, I have to get this lined up so it reads clearly and as we find out eventually that gives you 500 um, so there's this the sum winds up on this one this is kind of the feeder um, and it goes the at sums go this way down the engine um, the um, you'll see that uh, it sort of adds in stages first it adds these two together which gives you 490, this is before you carry the ones. Uh, then it carries the ones one at a time, so that gets you the zero, and then carries the hundredth, and that gives you the five, so that's uh, 500. Um, all the bits are really simple, it's just they're kind of combined in um, a very sort of Rube Goldberg, sort of babbage way, so um, it kind of takes a little bit to get your head around it. Um, basically, you set up your two numbers that you want to add up here, um, and the way the simple addition works is uh, this sort of um, uh, thing with these flanges here zeroes out. Um, and as it turns around, it hits the, uh, the flange here and it carries it around however many places are left between it and zero. In this particular case, it's two. So um, this is basically just spinning this round from two to zero. Um, and as it does that, because this uh, thing in the middle here kind of comes down and uh, meshes these uh, two gears together, as this goes back down to zero from two, this goes up two places to four. So that's how the engine adds two and two to four. Um, so that's kind of the first thing it does, it just adds uh, the numbers kind of raw one to each other here. Um, and that leaves you kind of the state of play before the carry uh, at 490. So we need to carry the one here and we need to carry the one also up here. Um, you'll see that actually um, th this is what Babbage called the generated carry, that um, this wouldn't uh, carry the one up to the hundreds. Um, if it wasn't carrying a one up from here, which is knocking it over one more uh, around to zero, which then uh, gives you um, a, a one to carry up here. So um, it's these generated carries that, uh, that cause Babbage so much problem. Um, it's a straight up carry. I'll just show you um, kind of in the back here how it does a straight up normal carry. Let me just shut off one of these layers so you can see what's going on. Um, so more clear. There we go. So this is like a. This is how it does just a straight up carry. From the ones, so the ones are gonna go, and carry one up to the tens. So it goes. Choo, 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 choo. As this comes around, basically this little flange that sticks out here, hits. This widget. Pulls it around. This is really complicated. Um, uh, then all of these things lift up together, so now this is meshed with this. And this is now what's, what Babbage called warned, uh, which is that this lever is now, if you turn back on, you can see what that means. So this lever is now, if we look at it from the top, this lever shifted over. Um, so these are what you call unwarned levers, so there's no carry uh, yet. Uh, and this is a warned lever. Um, and the carry just happens by, sorry, this, my model is a bit imperfect, so we've got an intersection here, which we shouldn't have, but um, 
basically these once you've got a worn lever um these uh the second carry yarn can twirls around and nudges it over and as it nudges that over if you look at this middle one here let me hide the top one again need that middle one. As it nudges that over, uh, that then carries, because it, on the lower one here, sorry, let's, da, 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 turn it off. on the lower one here, which is now warned, um, it's in a position that that lever nudges this lever over, and thus pushing this over one decimal place. So, that's what's turning that from nine to zero. Um, so it's kind of, it's, it's a little tricky to get your head around. But if you look, you can see this flange pushes that, which then intersects that with that, and then that turns around and pushes that around to one. Uh, I hope that's clear. And um, this, um, as we've seen, this generates now a carry in this one. Um, and in the difference engine, Babbage solved this problem by staggering. So that's why um, that's why you have this rippling effect. They're one after the other. The secondary arms have this gap between them. They're offset. Um, so there's this fraction of a second between them as they go around. So that way, that's worn and in place. So that gets pushed over, which pushes that over just in time to set this lever to warned in order to be pushed around with that and then push around the one above it. Um, I hope that makes sense. Um, almost the best thing you can do is to actually build one because once you actually build it, it all starts to make sense. Um, uh, and actually, I forget myself what's going on even as I'm explaining this and I built this thing. So um, it's, uh, it's sort of counterintuitive and um, uh, and a bit kind of Rube Goldberg machine type, this domino pushes that domino, which then sets that thing on fire kind of thing, which is very, very um, Babbage sort of design. Um, but you can see it. I mean, it, it works <laughs> beautifully. Um, uh, and just to show you here, so you have the two warned levers. There's a stage here that you've got these two warned. And then the top one, which is just going from four to five, um, isn't warned, and so the lever just sort of passes around it without pushing anything. Um, so if you would kind of look at that for a while and um, maybe fiddle around with some bits of cardboard, you might be able to get your head around it, or maybe you already have your head around it and it's completely obvious. Um, but yeah, that's how that's how the whole thing works. And if you look at um, video of the difference engine in operation, there's that beautiful kind of helix that spins around the back. That's just those carry arms going one after the other, du, 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 spinning around and carrying all those generated ones as they go up. Um, he did design, um, Babbage did design for the analytical engine, um, a much less pretty uh, and fun uh, thing he called the anticipating carriage uh, that carried all the ones at once. Um, and it's actually really hard to explain, but I'll try to do that for you next week sometime. Thanks.